it's a long. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my recent work on the south on the core of Ireland in the southwestern quadrant, that is the negative x and the positive z. So, as you guys can see, the edge farlands both are still a badlands biome, and the, and the beginning of the core farlands are still a badlands biome. Though I have made some considerable changes to the to the general structure of this quadrant in the core farlands. I have now changed the open areas to just these big plateau and basin areas. Uh, a little weird. Anyway, there's, I mean, I've added this diagonal line here to the south of this diagonal line. This marks where, to the south of that, the corner farlands will be all flat at the top. Like no, like no basins anymore. Just all flat at the top. And and I will fix these floating trees eventually, though. And there is a bit of a hole in here, so I will patch it up real quick. But I will get down to the lower layers in a little bit. So it's really, I'm gonna make this really quick for you guys. So that we can get into the lower layers here. And get the more caverns. Alright. Alright. So another thing you may notice is that if we head over toward these side farlands, on this side, you will see that it... Well, this isn't really for my case, this is kind of an unfinished area. But you will see that it eventually starts to look to look like the southeast quadrant along the new end of near 12 million five hundred thousand eight hundred one when we keep traveling on the x-axis. However, the way it get, we get from the middle area to that is considerably different. I actually think having the mirror images and the the uh, mirror images in the structure of the corner of our lands and the, and the exact mirror images of the edge farther lands, along with the northwest and it, and its corresponding mirror images on the sides being the opposite, the like if we replace all air blocks of solid earth and vice versa in the, from the southeast quadrant, it actually gives a sense that all the other quadrants of the corner of our lands are connected to the rest of this project. Now if we did go down below here, you will, you will see it is rather dark. But if we go under the flat ceiling, we'll see a very cavernous layer. And there is a bit, and there's a hole in the ceiling. Let's fix that. Yeah. So it is rather dark now. This is our night vision. So if you head over this way, there's a bit of an arch here. You can see there's a bit of an arch. So you will see that for the mangrove swamp biome farlands, I have actually extended the roots of the mangrove trees under the, under the ground into the second layer down. Let's patch this up. Okay, but I will add, I will fix this wall later and add detail to it. And here's a dark forest biome, or what the I build of a dark forest biome. I will also build this wall eventually. I will also finish building this, like, wall here eventually. Yeah. It's right here. So here is a glow fruit tree, which I have built in a, a dark forest biome in the normal areas, too. You know, this is a huge mushroom. But if we actually head down to the bottom layer here, it's actually... Go over this way and down here. You'll see that... You see the flooded cave layer at the very bottom. That's actually you can go you get a feel. You can really see how this looks with natural shadows. So here's the mangrove swamp biome at sea level in this in the corner far land. So I have built these rather the these stained glass and frog light structures are actually supposed to be like exotic plants that would grow in the far, in the lower layers of the far land. And I put a lot of vines. Let's head back this way. So here is again the flooded cave layer. Here's let's head back toward the corner here. So and then there's this diagonal line right here. 
goes out into it goes into a rather claustrophobic layer on this side. So on this so in that way, so in that direction, this quadrant will eventually so if you just go in this straight in this direction, we this quadrant will eventually become like the the southeast quadrant when we travel further along the x-axis. And on this direction, rather, it will instead become the it won't become like the southeast quadrant when we travel further along the z-axis. Instead, it will become the inversion of that, like we take all air and replace it with solid earth, and vice versa. So yeah, it's not a, there's not a whole lot with this quadrant. Yeah, pretty much it's about all I got for today. Oh, and there was there were some other things I missed, like some skull features actually show that right now. So yeah, I'll do the outro to this video while I head over there. So yeah, that's about that's about all I got for today. Leave a like if you enjoy, and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell, and click on all for all notifications. Oh, and, oh, and here's that one thing I forgot. Here's that one little area I forgot. So there's a redstone thing in the skulk patch, and a, and a or ogre version of that plant. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.